We open the show in Cali's Corner, presented by SeatGeek. Mason Rudolph moved the offense, particularly in the first half. If you do figure out midweek that he is going to be the guy against Detroit, are you able to give him more of the offense than what he was able to have in Buffalo? I mean, the game plan was was pretty well open. It's just the live reps and the communication of some things. There's just there's just a benefit to at least doing those things. Uh, obviously, before going to play is always helpful. Um, but yeah, there's some also some things that I that that may fit him different style that may fit him differently than maybe it would fit Will. But um, for the most part, they, he's got pretty well pretty well open book on, on what we had up for the game. The tight ends played a major role in the offensive effort against the Bills. Was that by design? Um, there were some things to them early, certainly, but they also got involved. Um, it became a much different style uh, coverage game for them. They played a lot more. They mixed some man, but it was much more zone-based and single high zone base. So there's just these – these pockets underneath that we were able to get the ball to those guys um, for quite a few receptions. And then some of the play action stuff, um, you know, we had Josh twice kind of on, on, on our bootleg game where he comes free off, this, off the backside. And um, some things that worked nicely against that defense, I thought, and the tight ends, I think, stepped up um, in the pass game, certainly. Jalen Duncan started in Buffalo, then gets injured in the first series of the game. You've made it pretty clear that he will not be playing in Detroit. So what do you do at that position? Do you open that up to competition this week? That's that's where we're headed right now, um, you know, between uh, John Ajoku and, and Leroy. Um, again, we just, we, we're not getting uh, a level of play that's sustainable there. Um, we're just, there's too much, you know, too, too many hits on the quarterback, too many soft pockets, too many things that um, aren't, aren't at the level that they need to be. And, and, and I, just to, so I'm clear, like there's, tackles lose pass rush reps it happens you know jc lost one it was critical it ended up being a sack fumble that we recovered but it it crushed a potential explosive play um tackles get beat but it's just the frequency and the um the intensity at which we get beat sometimes that 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 we have to be better and there's um, there's really no way around it I, I can't sit here and, and sugarcoat that any other way it's just we're not playing at a, at a level that's um, good enough at that spot you have talked about the other four spots on the offensive line and you've been you've been uh, happy with their improvement not going crazy but you've said hey they've made steady improvement as you you look at that group's overall improvement is there is there any way for the five to take a step forward in the way that you want until the right tackle situation is settled? I think as a unit, no. I mean, until that, until you know, as there's, you're only going to be up front as good as your as your your weakest player. And look, every every offensive line has weaknesses. Even the best ones in the league have weaknesses. Um, but you're only going to be as good as that, you know. And if you don't have uh, if, if it's really weak, it's going to be hard because you can't really necessarily make up for that all the time. And we have to do need more, need better. Um, but the guys that have played have done some good things. And again, they, they need to play better as well. Let's look ahead to the Detroit Lions. Their offense has been doing some pretty incredible things. What has stood out to you when you watch them on tape? They're really good. Uh, they're really good. They have a, a great toughness about them. Um, they're a very physical team, both in all three phases. Uh, I think Ben Johnson's always been you know, a really smart, creative offensive play caller. They do. They put guys in really good position, but I think at the end of the day, they pride themselves on just being more physical and tougher than you, and that's they show that. You know, that's sort of been their mo. They still got that blue collar mentality. I think Dan Campbell's uh, done a fantastic job building that program um, from the time he took over, um, and they certainly embody the toughness that he wants them to embody. And then they got really good players. You know, I think the two running backs are fantastic. Um, I think Laporta and. Uh, Amon Ra, and I mean those are those are, and then Jared Goff is is playing a brand of football that's particularly efficient, and they've uh, found ways to, to win a lot of football games, and they're they're an NFC Super Bowl contender for a reason. Aaron Glenn's the defensive coordinator. For so much talk about the offense, here's a defense that has 19 sacks and 11 takeaways. What's the challenge of playing against an Aaron Glenn defense? The amount of pressure they apply, and I, and I mean that in, in a lot of different ways. You know, they apply pressure in the secondary with how they cover. Um, they're going to play man coverage. They're going to challenge you. Um, they they have plenty of pressure packages. Their 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 scheme is um, smart. It's sound. 
Um, and then they, they get after the quarterback. And what you see when you get after the quarterback is um, sacks and turnovers. And those are the things that, that put their team in great position to, to capitalize on. And, you know, every, every year you look at the teams that make the playoffs, and most of the time they're usually plus – seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 or more in the turnover margin. And, and that's how you get there. Um, but they do a great job. They got good players. They got good scheme. Um, and they're, they're, they'll, be, they'll be a real test. It's a tough defense to play against. For more of our conversation with Brian Callahan, we invite you to enjoy the OTP. You can watch the OTP on the Titans YouTube channel or at TennesseeTitans.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the OTP wherever you get your podcasts. There is only one official Titans podcast, better known as the OTP. Stay tuned. More Titans All Access right after this.